thank you for joining me this morning. So today uh, we're working with our chairs again in this chair-based session. Anybody that might be new, my name is Naomi, so it's nice to see you here. Um, and we're going to be running through um, a warm-up, some weighted work um, to build a bit of arm and grip strength, and then um, working on a, a seated flow sequence. And we'll also be doing some standing balances today. So before we begin, just making sure that you've got everything that you need. <clears throat> so we need a chair, preferably without sides. And you just need to make sure that you're on a surface that you're not going to slip around on. So if like me, you're on a wooden floor or a hard floor, you might want to pop a mat um, or something non-slip underneath your chair so that when you put your weight on it or push against it, it doesn't move around underneath you. And then also today, we just need um, some weights of some kind. Now, if you don't want to use weights and you're happy um, to just join in uh, without weights, that's absolutely fine. But if you do want some weights and you don't have anything, uh, any dumbbells or anything like that at home, a couple of cans of beans or tomatoes, anything like that um, will be perfect. If you do have weights at home, then um, grab those and make sure you've got those to hand for our weighted arm exercises. Other than that, you just need your cells. Make sure you've got some water to hand and please do take a water break whenever you need one. Um, and we can just get started. So the first thing we're going to do is just have a little think about our posture, making sure that we're sitting on the chair and really thinking about how we're sitting. So first of all, we're going to bring the bottoms forward a little way onto the front edge of the chair so that we're not slouching back into the back of the chair. And then we're going to place the feet onto the floor, just underneath us, making sure that the ankles are underneath the knees and the knees are lining up with the hips. So the feet are hip distance apart. And then we're going to sit tall, thinking about stacking the spine all the way up and then reaching up through the top of the head, stretching up towards the ceiling. And at the same time, we're going to drop the shoulders down and away from the ears. And then just beginning by resting your hands either in your lap or down by your side. And then from here, we're just going to focus on our breathing. So today I'd like to show you a little breathing technique called rabbit breath. And this is to help us uh, focus on our breath, on our bodies. And also it's a really great way to both relax and also energize our bodies. So the way this breathing technique works is that we take three short, sharp sniffs in through the nose and then exhale out of the nose nice and slow. So I'll just show you once so you get the idea. So sitting nice and tall, we're going to take three sharp inhales through the nose and then breathing out through the nose all the way back out. We're going to do this five times. So I'll count us through as we go. Sitting tall, breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. Here we go, breathing in. And breathing out through the nose. That's one. And again, breathing in, three short, sharp in breaths. And breathing out through the nose. Two, excellent, and again, breathing in through the nose, and breathing out through the nose. Excellent. Number four now, breathing in, and breathing out. Last one, and breathing out. So hopefully there, that in-breath really helps to bring some energy into the body and the out-breath helps to relax. Hopefully that's woken you up a little bit and we're feeling ready to start to move our bodies. So first of all, we're just going to begin at the top of the body, warming up the neck and the shoulders. So starting with a gentle head tilt, bringing one ear towards the shoulder, then rolling the chin towards the chest, and the head towards the other side, so it towards the other shoulder, and then back again. And let's keep that going for a few gentle half circles. 
working through the neck. And you might feel that stretch going down into the shoulder as well. Keeping those shoulders down away from the ears, just waking up those neck muscles. And let's do one more on each side. And then bring the head back to the middle and then working into the shoulders, starting with a forward shoulder roll. Going all the way up, forwards, down and back. Nice big shoulder circles. Keeping that movement as big and as juicy as possible. And just noticing how those shoulders feel today. And you feel a bit of tension. Maybe there's a little bit of kicking going on in the shoulders. That's perfectly normal, but just make sure that we're not doing anything here that's sharp or painful. If you feel any sharp sensations, then please stop and take a break. One more in this direction, and then we're going to change directions. So taking the shoulders up, back, and down, forwards, up, back, and down. Lovely, nice, big, juicy circles. Get those shoulders moving. Two more here, one and two, and then relaxing the shoulders back down. And then taking one big shoulder shrug, squeezing the shoulders up towards the ears and breathing in as I count to three. And then after three, we're going to exhale and relax the shoulders down. So here we go. Big deep breath in, squeezing the shoulders up towards the, the ears. One, two, three, and exhale and relax the shoulders back down. And then taking some gentle side bends. So still sitting up tall, we're going to reach one arm all the way out and up as we breathe in and take a gentle bend to the side as we breathe out. And then swapping over, breathing in and reaching up, breathing out and folding over. And we're really trying to focus on keeping our chest open to the front here so that we're working through the side of the body. So instead of turning the chest and collapsing over, we're going to keep the body upright and work into the side of the body. Lovely. And as you breathe out and stretch, see if you can work a little bit deeper into that side stretch each time. One more on each side. Excellent. Very nice. And then coming back up to sitting, coming back to that lovely upright posture, nice long spine. From here, we're going to take a big deep breath in and reach the arms all the way up overhead. Make sure we're dropping the shoulders down away from the ears. So sometimes when we reach up, we can um, have a tendency to bring those shoulders up towards the ears. So just make sure that those shoulders are nice and low, nice big space between the ears and the shoulders. From here, we're going to reach the arms across to one side of the body, bringing the front hand towards the opposite knee. And the other hand is just going to take hold of the bottom of the chair be just behind you. And then from here, we're going to breathe in and sit up tall. And then as you breathe out, we're going to twist slightly towards that back shoulder, just twisting around the spine, taking the gaze towards the back shoulder. And one more round of breath here, breathing in, sitting up tall. And breathing out and seeing if we can twist a little bit further. Excellent. And then releasing and coming back to the middle. To do the same on the other side. So big, deep breath in reaching the arms all the way up overhead, dropping the shoulders down away from the ears. And then as you breathe out, we're bringing the other arm across the body this time to the opposite knee, placing the back hand onto the base of the chair and then gently pressing through that front hand to help open the chest, but without bringing that knee in. So try and keep those legs really stable and strong as you gently press against the leg to open the chest to the side. One more round of breath here, breathing in, reaching up through the top of the head, and bringing it out and twisting a little bit further. And then relaxing and coming back to the middle. And then from here, we're going to move into the hips and the legs. So just starting with a gentle exercise to wake up the hips, we're just going to pick one leg up and squeeze the knee in towards the chest and place it back down and swap over. Bringing in, squeezing up and placing back down. We're going to do that eight times. That's three, four, five, six, two more, seven, 
and eight. Excellent. And then coming back to that first leg, taking hold of the knee, and we're just going to make some gentle circles with the leg in one direction, working into that hip joint. Excellent. And then changing direction, guiding with the arms. Lovely. And then placing that foot back down on the floor and swapping over to the other side, picking the leg up, gentle circles in one direction. Trying to keep that torso sitting up tall as we do this. And changing direction. Just waking up those hips. Excellent. And then placing the foot back on the floor. And then we're going to work through um, a little bit of strength work in the legs here to wake them up. So first of all, we're just going to gently take hold of the base of the chair. And then from here, we're going to extend one leg out in front with the toes lifted. Now it's up to you here, you can keep the leg low or you can aim to keep the leg up at the level with the hip. And then from here, we're going to point and flex and we do this six times. Two, three, Starting to feel that thigh working. Four, two more, five, last one, six. Excellent. And then bring that leg back down to the floor and swap over to the other side. So lifting the other leg, toes pointing up to start with, sitting tall, thinking about um, engaging those core muscles to help keep that leg lifted. And here we go. Point and flex. Point and flex. That's two. Three, four, five, one more, and six. Excellent, bringing that foot back down to the floor. And then planting the feet on the floor, we're going to just work through those ankles by riding up onto the toes, and then back down, heels on the floor. Really thinking about pressing through the feet, working all the way up onto the balls of the feet. Excellent. Four more here. One, two, three, last one. Four, excellent. Well then. So hopefully the body's starting to feel a little bit warmer, a little bit more mobile. And we're ready to go into our strength work now. So picking up the weights that you have, whether that's cans or dumbbells. Or if you'd rather do this without weights, then you can absolutely join in. Just making your hands into fists. We're going to start by extending the arms and lifting them up to shoulder height. And from here, we're going to hold the arms while we rotate the hands. So face up and face down. We're going to do this eight times. Here we go, ready? One. Two, three, four. Try not to let those arms drop. Five, six, sitting tall. Seven, and eight. Excellent. And then bringing the hands down into the lap just to give them a rest for a moment before taking them out to the side. So first of all, Shoulders rolling up, back and down, and then dropping the hands by the sides and lifting again up to shoulder height here. So we don't want to go above shoulder height, but we also, as we work, we don't want to let those arms droop. So see if you can keep them up here at shoulder height. And then we're going to do the same here. So turning the hands up and down. And keep going. Two, three. Four, five, six, two more to go, seven, and eight. Excellent. Bring the arms back in, resting them on your lap, giving them a break for a moment. Okay, before lifting the arms, one more time up in front. 
This time we're going to keep the palms facing down to begin with, and we're going to pulse. So we're going to drop the hands, keeping the arms nice and straight, halfway, and then bring them back up again. We're going to do this six times. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And then turning the palms up and doing the same again. One, two, three, four, five and six excellent bringing the hands back into the lap relaxing the arms for a moment before our last arm exercise so taking the hands back down to the side making sure the shoulders are rolled up back and down and then lifting the arms up to the side palms facing down and we're going to take some gentle circles in one direction so draw in a circle with your arm. Then we're going to do six in this direction. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And then changing direction. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Excellent. And then carefully bringing the arms back in. And putting the weights down and we'll just give our arms a gentle little stretch out now so taking one arm up and across the body bringing the other hand over and just gently guiding that arm in towards the chest with the underneath arm stretching through that arm breathing dropping the shoulders down away from the ears three rounds of breath here and then switching sides, other arm crossing across the body, hugging it in with the underneath arm towards the chest and stretching here. And then taking a big stretch out, circling the arms in front of you and creating a big circle, interlacing the fingers as if you're hugging the trunk of the tree. And then thinking about dropping your chin to the, your chest, drawing your belly button back towards your spine and curving the spine over, stretching across the top of the back into the shoulders and the upper arms. Breathing here. And then releasing one last stretch for the arms here, taking one arm up and seeing if you can reach that hand down the centre of the back. And then gently with the other arm, just guiding the elbow in towards the ear and seeing if you can press that arm backwards a little bit more to bring the fingers a little bit further down the back. Now, if that's enough for you, then just stay in here for three breaths. If you can, there is an option here to take the other arm behind and see if you can reach the fingers together behind your back. I'll just show you what that looks like here. Okay. If that's too much for you, then we can just stay here. And releasing and swapping over. So the other arm reaching up, dropping the hand down the center of the back, using the other hand to gently guide the elbow in towards the ear and back, sitting tall. And if you want to, using the other hand to link around the back and grab hold of the fingers behind. Or staying here for three rounds of breath. Excellent. Releasing and just giving the arms a little shake out. Okay. From here, we're going to move into a little sequence. Now, this week, we're going to work with a wide leg stance, just allowing us to work into those hips a little bit more. So, what I'd like you to do is take your feet into a wide V. Now, just working with your body here and taking your legs as wide as is comfortable. We're not forcing the legs out here, just finding a wider stance that helps us to open up in those hips. And just making sure here that with the legs wide, we're not rocking backwards and leaning into the back of the chair. We're still sitting tall. Okay. From here, we're going to take a seated mountain pose, breathing in and reaching the arms all the way up, shoulders down away from the ears. As we breathe out, we're bringing the hands down the middle, 
and then sliding the hands onto the legs and coming into a forward fold. So bringing the torso forward, dropping the head towards the floor. I'm just taking a moment here. You can leave your hands on your thighs for support, or if you want to, you can bring those fingertips down towards the floor. Just make sure here that your chair is nice and stable underneath you. Coming into a full wide leg fold. And then with your next in breath, you're coming up to a flat back position. So halfway up, lengthening through the spine now, reaching out through the top of your head. Nice long flat back. So if I turn to the side, we've gone from a full fold with a rounded back, and now we're coming up to a half fold with a lovely flat back. Okay. And then with your next out breath, folding back down to your full fold, bringing the hands to the floor if you want to. And then with the next in breath, we're going to start to roll through the back, all the way back up to sitting. Returning to our beginning position with our wide leg stance. And then from here, we're going to come into our cat and cow pose. So leaving the hands on the legs, starting with a breath in, we're going to push the chest forward, look up and come into cow pose. And then breathing out, drawing the belly button back towards the spine, curving the spine towards the back of the chair, looking down into your lap, breathing out, cat pose. And let's do eight more here, so breathing in, looking up. And breathing out and curling into cat pose. Back to two. Three, cow pose. And cat pose. Four. And then going to breathe. Breathing in as you come to cow pose. Breathing out in cat pose. That's five. Three more sets to go. Two and one. Excellent. Really waking that back up. And then coming back to your nice tall seated position. And from here, we're going to work with a shoulder dip. So keeping the hands on the thighs, one shoulder is going to rotate in towards the middle and dip down towards the legs. And then come all the way back up and swap sides, bringing the shoulder over and down, pressing against those thighs for a little bit of um, support and leverage. And coming back to that first side. And back up. And again. Four more. One. Two. One more to go, and four. And then from here, we're going to work through a side stretch. So sliding one hand along the leg, and then reaching the other arm all the way up and over, coming into a side stretch, using that wide leg stance to support you underneath the lower arm. And then coming back up to sitting, still on the other side. Breathing in as you reach up and breathing out as you fold over. And again. Two more here. Really enjoying that stretching sensation down the side of the body. Breathing in as you reach up and breathing out as you fold over. Excellent. And then come all the way back up to sitting. To repeat that sequence one more time. So breathing in. Reaching all the way up, breathing out and bringing the hands down the middle, taking the hands onto the thighs, breathing in, reaching up through the top of the head, and breathing out as you fold over into your full fold. Come as far as it's comfortable for you. And if you want to, and if you're able, then bringing those hands to the floor. Taking another round of breath here. And then with the next in breath. 
coming up to your half fold with a lovely flat back, breathing out and folding back down. With the next in breath, starting to roll all the way back up to sitting. Then breathing out here, ready to go into your cow and cat pose. So starting with cow, breathing in and cat. Cow pose and cat pose. Cow pose and cat pose. Remembering the breathing. So breathing in as you come through to cow, and breathing out as you curl to cat. Four more to go. One, two, three, last one, four. And then coming back. To your tall seated position before moving into our shoulder rolls. So here we go. One shoulder coming down, one, and back up. Breathing in as you come up, breathing out as you dip that shoulder down. Breathing in and coming up, breathing out and dipping down, alternating shoulders. Two more to go. And last one. And coming back up to sitting, ready to go into our side stretch. So side one hand along the leg, breathing in and reaching up, and breathing out and reaching over. And this time we're going to take another round of breath here. Deepening that stretch a little bit further, so breathing in and lengthening, breathing out and folding a little bit further. And swapping sides, breathing in as you reach up, and breathing out as you fold over. And another round of breath here, breathing in and reaching up, and breathing out and folding over. And swapping sides again, breathing in and reaching up. Now moving out and folding over. One more time. Moving in as you reach up. Moving out and folding over. One more round of breath. Breathing in and stretching. Now breathing out and folding. And then coming back up, sitting. Excellent, well done. And just taking here three rounds of salutation. So we're just going to breathe all the way in as you reach up. And breathing out as we fall down. And rolling up, breathing in and out. And again, breathing in and reaching up. Breathing out as you fall down. Breathing in as you start to curl up. Breathing out at the top. One more time, big deep breath in, reaching all the way up. Breathing out as you fold down. Breathing in as you go up. And breathing out at the top. Excellent, well done. Okay, from here, we're going to just take a nice deep full fold with the chair. So what I want you to do is come to standing. And then we're going to turn our chairs so that we have the back of the chair facing us and just make sure you've got enough space behind you that you can take a few steps back here. And what we're going to do is take a big deep breath in. First of all, let's just double check our posture. So legs are underneath us, hip distance apart, standing tall, shoulders rolled up, back and down. And then we're going to take a big deep breath in and reach all the way up overhead. And then as we breathe out, we're going to reach forward and tip in the hips to bring the hands to the top of your chair and then continue to tip. You might want to shuffle your feet back a little bit further, especially if you've got long arms and legs, so that you're extending your arms to their full range to reach the chair. And then we're just continuing that forward fold. And if you can, I want you to think about bringing your head and your chest 
through your arms. And if you need a gentle bend in the knees here, then that's absolutely fine. Make sure we're not locking those uh, knees out. And just folding here, maybe looking from side to side. Standing strong in the legs, stretching through the back, reaching those arms all the way out to the top of the chair, using that chair to help support you here. Let's take three rounds of breath in this pose. Seeing if we can drop the head and the chest a little bit further each time. Last round of breath. And then really softening the knees, curling the tailbone under, dropping the chin to the chest and starting to roll up, bringing those hands back to the thighs and rolling all the way up to standing. Okay, excellent, well done. And from here, we're going to move into three standing balances. So we need to have the chair here turned to the side. It's up to you whether you have the back at the front or turn it so the back of the chair is at the back because we're going to be using the top of the back of the chair and the base of the chair. We need it facing um, side on, but it doesn't matter which way around. So from here, we're going to start with our standing balance. I think I'm actually going to turn my chair this way because I don't have that much space behind me. And that's going to mean that I can um, still support myself by the side of my body and have space behind me. So just check and see what works best for you. So from here, we're going to stand next to the chair, feet underneath us, hip distance apart, standing tall, placing the hands closest to the chair onto the back of the chair for support. And then we're going to pick up the leg that's furthest away from the chair, lifting the knee. And you have options here. You can place the toe on the floor next to your standing foot and balance here. You can lift the foot off the floor, just a centimetre or two. Or if you want a little bit more of a challenge, you can bring that knee up to hip height. And then we're going to bring the free arm in to the chest as if it's half of a prayer pose here. And we're going to balance here for one big deep breath in and out. And then extending the arm ahead and opening it out to the side, taking the gaze with you if you can, to create a little twist in the body over that lifted leg. Taking a breath in, standing tall, now breathing out and seeing if you can take that gaze a little bit further. And then with the next in breath, bringing that hand forwards and breathing out and bringing it in and dropping the foot. We're going to take that one more time. And this time, if you would like to let go of the chair and balance in your standing pose, then you can. So here we go. Lifting the foot up wherever you're comfortable, whether it's toes on the floor, a few centimetres off or knee at hip height. Breathing in and reaching the arm out. Breathing out and rotating around. Breathing in and bringing the hand back to the front. Breathing out and standing tall. One more round of breath here. And if you want to take the hand up and balance with no chair, then you can. Excellent. And then releasing the foot back to the floor. And then from here, we're going to move into aeroplane pose. So we're st still working with the same standing leg. The leg that was just lifted is going to start to push back behind us until the toes lift off the floor. And then we're going to tip the torso forward slightly. So we're still in a lovely straight line all the way from the head to the back toes. Okay, so rather than doing this, we're keeping everything in a line and we're tipping like a seesaw. Okay. And then from there, the free hand is going to reach back towards those back toes. And we're going to balance here for three rounds of breath. And again, if you want to, you can extend the other hand away. And if you want even more of a challenge, we can start to bring the chest towards the floor and lift the heel up towards the side. And after three rounds of breath, bringing that foot back 
to the floor. Excellent. And then from here, we're coming into a half moon balance. Again, working with the same standing leg. So the leg that's closest to the chair is the one that's doing the stabilizing work underneath. The other leg is going to reach out to the side. We're going to bring the hand that's closest to the chair down onto the seat of the chair this time. Reach the other arm up and then lift the toes of the leg up and away. So the idea here is that you're keeping everything facing the front. Okay, and we are lifting those toes, opening the chest. And if you can, raise that top arm so that it is creating a nice straight line all the way down to the fingers of the bottom arm. Trying to keep your body in line with your leg. If you'd rather come up and be here, that's absolutely fine. Balancing here for three rounds of breath. Excellent. And then gently and slowly coming back to standing. And giving that standing leg a little bit of a shake, working through the ankle and the toes, ready to change sides. So moving your chair across. ready to go on the other side. So now we're working with the leg and the arm that's closest to the chair. So taking hold of the top of your chair, ready for our standing balance. Raising the leg that's furthest away from the chair, toes to the ankle, up a few centimeters, or lifting that knee up towards the hip, bringing the free hand into the chest. Breathing in and extending the arm forwards. Breathing out and opening around to the side, looking back towards the fingers if you can. Breathing in and coming back to the front. Breathing out and balancing here. And placing that foot back on the floor, ready to go again. And this time, see if we can balance without holding a chair if you want to. Here we go. Breathing in and lifting. Breathing out and balancing. Breathing in and extending the arm. Breathing out and opening the arm to the side. Breathing in and coming back to the front. Breathing out and balancing here. And then one more round of breath. Breathing in and balancing. Breathing out and holding here. And then if you can, see if you can sweep that lifted leg all the way through to our aeroplane pose without touching the toes down. If you have a little wobble and you do need to place the toes on the floor, that's absolutely fine. Balancing here in aeroplane pose for three rounds of breath, making sure that we're keeping those hips facing down towards the floor. So we're not opening up to the side. Everything's facing towards the floor. And if you want a bit more of a challenge, you can bring that chest towards the floor a little bit further, lift that back leg a bit higher. Or we can release the hands that's holding the chair and balance here. And after three rounds of breath, bringing the hand back to the chair and the leg back to the floor, ready to come into our half moon pose. So, working on the same standing leg, taking the other leg out to the side, bending through the supporting knee to begin with, to bring the hand onto the base of the chair, and then straightening through that leg, lifting the other toe off the floor, opening the chest to the side and lifting that top arm so that it's in line with the arm underneath. And balancing here for three rounds of breath. Remembering that you can come up onto the top of the chair if you need to. Excellent. And after three rounds of breath, gently bringing those legs back to the floor and standing tall. Okay. And the last thing we're going to work with here before we go into our mindfulness and relaxation is we're just going to revisit that boat balance that we had a look at last week. So, bringing your chair back into the middle, I'm going to turn my chair to the side just so that you can see what's going on a little bit more clearly. If you want to be facing the camera, then that's absolutely fine. So we're going to sit back on our chairs, come to the front of the chair, Sitting tall 
And then we're going to slightly rock back onto the back part of our bottoms, come into a bit of a leaning back pose, holding onto the side of the chair and just starting with one leg, lifting one leg up, holding here and back down and swapping over to the other side, lifting up and down. And then if you want to use a bit more of a challenge, we can try lifting both legs. Hold them here. And bring that down. Okay, let's try that again and see if we can hold for three rounds of breath. If that's too much for you today, then keep lifting the alternating legs, making sure that we're thinking about engaging those core muscles as we do it so that we're not putting too much stress into the lower back. So remember, we've talked about before, wrapping your tummy muscles around like a jacket and zipping them up the front, okay? So really thinking about engaging those tummy muscles before we begin. So three rounds of breath with both legs, if you can, or alternating the legs as we breathe. Here we go. One. Two. And three. Excellent, bringing the legs down. We're going to do that one more time. And for those of you that would like to, there is another option here to release the arms. So just work with wherever is good for you today. Don't um, push yourselves too far too soon. But you might notice, if you've been practicing this at all, that you're feeling a little bit stronger today than you were last week. So coming back into our slightly reclined position, holding onto the bottom of the chair, wrapping those tummy muscles and zipping them up the front, and then coming into our boat balance. And your options here are to straighten the legs or lift the hands off. Three rounds of breath in your own time. And coming back down. Excellent. And then we're just going to take a little stretch for the tummy muscles here. So looking up, stretching the tummy muscles out. So it's almost like a cow pose. Coming up into cow. And then curling back. And this time, hugging one knee in towards the chest. And then swapping over. Excellent, well done. Okay, so from here, we're going to start to move into our relaxation and mindfulness. So coming into a more comfortable seated position. So whatever that means for you, but just making sure that we're still sitting tall before we work with those breaths again. So the uh, bunny, well, rabbit breath that we did at the beginning, we're going to come back to that but this time I'd like us to have a go at doing it for seven rounds. And while you're doing this breathing technique, I want you to think about as you're breathing in, I want you to think about taking in energy into your body. And as you breathe out, I want you to think about relaxing into your chair. So we're sitting tall. We don't need to be right on the edge of the chair here, but just make sure that your back is still nice and tall and you're not slouching into the back of the chair. And we're going to breathe in through the nose, three short, sharp breaths in, and then one relaxing breath out. Energy in, releasing out. Here we go. more to go. Last one. Excellent. Well done. And just notice 
in your body, whether that has made any difference for you. Can you feel that combination of energy and relaxation in the body? And then sitting back into your chair now, relaxing, trying not to slouch still, but just relaxing back into the chair. And just taking a moment to check in with your body and your mind and just notice how you're feeling today. Can you compare how you're feeling right now to how you were feeling at the beginning of the session? Do you notice any differences? And then letting your breath fall into a nice, gentle, natural rhythm. We're going to start to relax and release any last bits of tension in the body. <coughs> so starting with the feet, I'd like you to curl your toes in, squeezing them tight, squeeze, 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 squeeze. and then relax and let any last bits of tension in the feet flow down and away into the ground. And then moving to the legs and thinking about hugging the muscles of the legs tight to the bone. Squeeze, 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 squeeze and relax. And let any last bits of tension in the legs flow down and away into the ground. And then curling your fingers into your palms, squeezing your hands into fists. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. And relax. And let any last bits of tension in the hands flow down and away into the ground. And then moving to the arms and hugging the muscles of the arms tight to the bones. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. squeeze and relax. And let any last bits of tension in the arms flow down and away into the ground. And then coming to the face, thinking about squeezing the eyes shut, scrunching up the nose, pressing the lips together. Squeeze, 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 squeeze and relax. And let any last bits of tension in the face flow down and away into the ground. And then last of all, the shoulders. Thinking about squeezing the shoulders up towards the ears. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. And then relax. And let any last bits of tension in the shoulders flow down and away into the ground. And then just taking a moment here to notice if there are any last tight spots, any aches in the body, See if you can identify them. Be as specific as you can. And then focusing on our breath. We're going to think about breathing in energy and breathing out relaxation, sending that out breath to those tight spots in the body. Breathing in energy, breathing out to the tight spots and relaxing. Breathing in and breathing out. And now the body is starting to feel a little bit more relaxed. And you can feel the weight of your body sinking into the chair your heavy feet planted on the ground, the backs of your thighs at your bottom pressing into the seat of the chair, your torso and the backs of your shoulders resting on the back of your chair, your hands heavy in your lap. Your body is starting to relax. So let's take our attention to our minds now. I invite you here, if you haven't already, just to close your eyes and see if you can bring your attention inwards to your mind and notice what's going on for you today. 
Notice whether your mind is feeling busy or calm. Yes, somewhere in between. Notice whether you've got any particular thoughts, bands, buzzing around your mind. Notice how you're feeling today, whether there's any feelings of excitement, anxiety, worry, happiness. Just take a moment to pop in with your feelings. Where are you at today? And then let's see if we can bring your attention back to your breathing. So we're going to use our breathing just to help calm and clear that mind. So focusing on the breath, the sensation of the breath coming in, filling the lungs and going out again. Notice the chest rising, the rib cage expanding, Feel of the air passing through your nostrils, out over your lips. And if you notice that you're finding it difficult to focus on your breathing today, and you've got thoughts popping into your mind, distracting you, let's see if we can use our breath to help focus the mind. So what I'd like you to do is imagine that there is a bubble floating just in front of your face. And the next thought that pops into your head, I want you to imagine placing it inside that bubble. And as you breathe, we're gently blowing that thought bubble a little bit further away. With each out breath, it floats a little bit further, creating more and more space between you and that thought. And you keep blowing it away with every out breath until it gets further and further away. And it floats off into the distance so you can't see it anymore. Leaving your mind feeling a little bit calm. And if it happens again and another thought pops into your head, it will be the same again. Imagine placing that thought inside the bubble, just in front of your face. And using your breath to blow that bubble gently away. Little by little with every out breath. Creating more space between you and your thoughts. Allowing it to float off into the distance until you can't see it anymore. And you're left feeling a little bit calm. And you can keep doing this with every thought that pops into your head. Just creating that space between you and your thoughts to allow the calm settling. We're not dismissing these thoughts. And it's not wrong of us to have all of these thoughts and feelings buzzing through our minds. It's perfectly normal. But sometimes it can be really helpful to just create that space and a place for us to feel a little bit calmer and a little bit quieter. You can keep doing that until you feel that sense of calm. And just allowing the breath to flow in and out, the body to be still, the mind to be calm.
and then starting to bring your awareness back to the world around you. Seeing if you can focus on the sounds around you. Perhaps you can hear traffic outside, birds in the trees, people talking, walking down the street. See if you can start to focus your attention on your immediate surroundings. And then bringing it a little bit closer in. Noticing the sounds in your house. And you hear anyone else moving around, perhaps a TV or a radio playing. And then bringing that attention even closer back to the body. Noticing the sound of your breath as the air passes in. And then taking that energy and starting to wake the body up, giving the toes a wiggle, giving the fingers a wiggle, stretching the legs away from you, stretching the arms up overhead, taking a big yawn here if you need to. Ooh. And then bringing the knees in one at a time, all both together, hugging them in towards the chest, stretching through the back. And then just sitting up a little way, nice tall back one more time. And taking a big deep breath in, reaching arms all the way up overhead. And breathing out. And bringing the hands down the middle. Okay, excellent. Thank you for joining me again.